today I'm super excited because I'm going to be building a gingerbread house. And I got this set from Toys R Us and right now I'm eating candy cane because it's good. Pixie sticks. And I thought it would be really cool to make a gingerbread house for Christmas. And so I'm going to be making one. And I bet you are seeing a lot of these right now since it's Christmas and it's time to build gingerbread houses, you know, for Christmas and lots of stuff. So let's get started. Let's open it. it smells yummy already. Yum. And I also made a Halloween gingerbread house. So you can go check that out. So it comes with um, the house and it comes with some characters behind. It has a Christmas tree, a snowman, a gingerbread kit, a gingerbread kid. And we got that. Comes with some little gumballs. Um, these ones are pucker ups. Pucker ups. Then we have some mini jellies. Mini jellies. We have some white frosting slash glue to put the house together. Um, we have some gumballs. These ones are beads actually and these ones are gumballs. Sorry. And then we have some um, pinwheels. And last but not least, our tray. So first of all, I'm going to open up my kit, my house, so we can start building um, putting it together because it's not like the other one where we needed to like put it together this one you need to put it together Okay guys, so I'm going to start gluing my pieces together Okay, so now I'm gently going to like set that free. And I already put glue on my roof, so I'm going to carefully place it on my gingerbread. Okay guys, so now our house has been dried. And just so you know, if you wanna do this, you need to wait for 24 hours because I just noticed when I did the first part, it doesn't dry really soon. It's still really sticky. Even if you leave it for like about one hour, it's still really sticky. So you need to wait a whole day and a whole night until the next morning. So it's dry now and it's we waited for about 24 hours. So it's ready. Now it's time to decorate the funnest part. So I'm going to start by doing this top part and by the top part, I'm going to be putting on some little mints, you know, like up. First, I'm going to put it on our frosting because, as you can see, this is dry already, so we need to put a little more. Okay, so now let's open our peppermints, our little swirl peppermints. And ignore my funny voice, I'm a little sick, sick, because it's December and it's time for the sickness, so yeah, I'm sick. So just ignore my voice. So we're going to put it on like this. Okay, so I just put two so far, and this is how it looks so far. Kind of make some space, so because I'm gonna save the last one for something really cute. One more. Ta-da! Now let's do the windows. So I'm gonna start with the front side and you'll see it when I'm done. Okay, so here's how it turned out. And we're going to decorate it before the glue gets dry. 
So I'm going to get out my beads. I'm going to put in the peppermint swirl in the middle of the circle. You can decorate your own gingerbread house any way you want, and I'm going to do it the way I want. Okay guys, so this is what I've done so far. Doesn't it look pretty? So I'm just going to put in the candies. like a little type of flower with one red dot inside. So now I'm going to keep decorating the other sides. So now we're going to add some beads. And these windows are done. Let's do the other side. Done. So I'm just going to keep on decorating and I'll show you when I'm done. Now I'm going to do this part of the house, the roof. What do you think? Isn't it pretty? Now we're going to add some cute little gumballs right here, which we haven't used. Let's open it. Now let's do the other side. This looks too plain. Let's decorate it. Now, time for the gumballs. Ta-da! So, what do you think? We're done with our house. Here's an overview of the house. I'm back in my spot. Okay, so now it's time for the yummy part. We are going to make our gingerbreads and our little gingerbread cookie, gingerbread Christmas tree. So I'm gonna start with my Christmas tree. Put this aside. And I was just thinking right now, before we start with that, I'm gonna put a little glue right here and put some beads to make it look like Christmas lights. So I'll be right back. Ta-da! Here's our cute little Christmas lights. Now we can do our gingerbread cookies. But the thing is, we only have two beads. I'm just gonna put some glue around the tree. Ta-da! Looks really cute. So now we're going to put some of those little things to make it look like ornaments. Just a few since they're big. Ta-da! So 
So here's our Christmas tree. It looks so good, I want to eat it right now. Mm -hmm. And we can put it right here in front of the house. Wrong way. I'm going to put some glue where I'm going to put it. Set this down for now. Now let's do the two gingerbread kids, or men, whatever, or women. Just going to trace it around. This is a snowman. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little glue in the middle of the um, two gingerbread buttons and I'm going to put the two leftover beads. Ta-da! It looks so cute! So I'm going to put some glue right there and then just stick them on in a little stand. Put a wrist kid. Gonna put my last gingerbread men. Okay, so all we have to do is decorate the entrance with some frosting and then some of these little dots. Yeah, let's frost up the entrance. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Doesn't it look so cute with the cute little entrance? All you need to do is just put some frosting and decorate it however you want. That's my entrance. This is the side window. This is the back patio. This is the other side, little windows, side windows. And here's my entrance again. My favorite part and also the roofs. Well guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Merry Christmas, and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Bye! She's gone now. Dun, da dun, da dun. Hmm? Uh. Hi, Mom. Okay, let's see the rest of the video.